right here we have our final render and you can see we have it quite a bit hazy and fog again in some case if you don't like it you can always go a little bit back to sharper however it's um what i want to do kind of like this result the next what i want to do is take this and open inside the photoshop and just a touch and make it a little bit more look like illustrations you also can save this as hdri it will allow you and work in hdri application to um enhance so here is kind of an example okay let's go look in the hdri we can go and tone mapping and in tone mapping you can see we can have it much more um effects we can apply it and bring kind of like almost details to this area okay so as an example okay let's go take this smooth highlights a little bit down we can bring points maybe enlightenment adjustments i think we need more on the sky so we'll take um like an adjustment that way bring right here a little bit with luminosity many times what i like to do it is work with hdri bring some details that maybe i needed like for example uh, let's bring details right around palms so if we want to reduce some of the haze we can re reuse that one okay also let's see it's micro smoothing we'll take all the way down to increase details okay let's look on the luminosity probably a little bit up and one point down so if you need to know how this application work i have additional tutorials but overall um, just let's show how you can view store way more information inside the file when you save for example as hdri than just flat file so you can have all this information you can modify it okay we'll go here done and i'm just going to save this image okay now let's go inside the photoshop and right here we can go and modify this is our psd file is save and right here is tff so you can see the tone map it and original so what i like to do is just take all control copy we paste on the top and now you can see areas that we can enhance with uh, settings so let's go create additional um on a layer with settings we create mask control i to invert that mask we'll take a paint tool we'll set opacity to 10 on a white soft and you can see i'm kind of start painting a little bit in by the palms so i'll bring details i'll keep it haze on the bottom but a little bit right here i'll bring more details to our palms okay if the sky maybe i want to keep it blue so we'll take a little bit down go back on this color here okay, you can see kind of bring in some of those effects okay next what i want to do it is um combine control shift alt e and um, we can enhance make even more look as hdri image if we're going to modify and apply black and white for this layer you'll notice our main colors it will be green some cyan and blue so what i like to do is bring contrast like a little bit down so you can see on the clouds okay create a little bit darker let's look on the yellow maybe slightly adjustment i'm going with almost like medium levels so to try to do with this and also i'm looking on some details when it's coloring bring into because this is will be our adjustment layer and we will use it soft light for this but right now let's also apply shadow and highlight so we can take and kind of a little bit of effect so you can see right here you again you can bring 
higher or lower so we'll go this way and let's switch to soft light overlay so or again before and after you can see we brought even more details and in some cases why i like to create kind of with a fog so we still have this effect and we can bring more out with this okay i'm just bring maybe about 40 percent of this okay next um actually let me delete this one we'll go up Control shift alt e to bring on top let's go to next i'm going inside the filter forge i'm using some of the photo filter okay again the filter forge you can download it free trial edition but i do recommend for you to purchase if you can um kind of afford or if it's in your budget it's a very nice application plus a lot all filters high thousand filters whatever go for free you can create um anything from texturing to um even use this photo filters so right here i have a few presets i'm just going through them let's see which one has come up actually i do like uh, maybe even a little bit reddish kind of almost warmer color so it's between this and this i'll take for the base next we'll go inside the settings and inside the settings actually i can adjust you can see i can man manipulate a bit more with the tonal corrections bring blue all the way and i can kind of adjust and manipulate and again this is won't be my final look i will modify more but it does give me kind of nice start point okay when we're done let's go click apply okay right here you can see we apply the filter so for example i kind of like bluish again i'm going to create layer and in this case black with one i'm going kind of like painting over remove some of that um, reddish from the sky so you can see, kind of leave it but apply a little bit more on the bottom And this is kind of adjustments um just touch up a little bit bring in details of our scenery and uh, let's complete this with creating border so i'll go curves take all the way down create a selection about it and you notice i just leave a small border around and i will fill up with a black inside now we can go into mask portion of this curve and just increase playing with feathering set this to the soft light so you can see we can have a very nice vignetting adding to our image um, additional options you can apply as well if you're interested to um, enhance even further this you can always use it brushes maybe with uh, some um, example splashes Okay, let me find with my splash splashes on okay they around here i think right here control c so we can go inside closer let's reduce size of this set 200 percent opacity okay and before actually i apply all white i want to select some of this color you can see we applied okay, like right there so it kind of add a little bit more effect to this okay maybe a little bit white okay we can go select a different type of splash again okay let's move right here yes yeah, will work very good around there maybe just find for some of those brushes a little bit nicer area so we can you can see just add a little bit more water kind of fog going as well speak about fog we can go select tools and maybe add 
a little bit around that area. Okay, let's go ahead and switch this try soft light because soft light will kind of blend a little bit more gently inside. Let's create a new one. Select a um, slightly different brush for this. And just a little bit touch up right there on the low. Kind of mountain. Okay, um, other things maybe take curves and inside the curves we can take just a little bit point of the black so right it's going to be all the way black and let's select maybe red and cyan we can also add more of cyan color Okay, we don't need that high, so we'll just take just slightly. You can see it's a shadow where we applied. So we'll take just a little bit. And we, of course, can bring on the mid-tones a little bit up. And we'll take slightly on the highlights. So the shadows, highlights, and mid-tones, we can also just bring slightly up. Very soft, gentle curve. Okay, same on a green. So we can, you can see right here, we can bring just slightly up. Fix right here, and so we have a nicer small. Okay, right here you can see slightly color correction. Again, this is up to your creativity when you start create and um, see any additional effect. Um, other options you also can have it. It's apply some effect overlay as a texture. So as example. Let's take this uh, paper. Okay, I'm going to rotate and I'm stretching to one corner and another. So just adding some texture to this point. Okay, next I want to switch this to soft light. But you notice it's apply also color to me. To remove the color, we go black and white. And you hold the Alt key and left click to parent. So now this paper has become black and white. At this point, we can use it or overlay if you want a little bit stronger or a soft light. If you want a little bit lighter effect, you can see how it's apply some of this texturing, creating more picture like. OK, let's create a new mask. Take our tool. OK, and in a tool, we'll set to the black color. 10 percent opacity, increasing size, and I just want on a middle kind of clear right here. So I want some texture, but maybe not on the middle point. So we'll just a little bit. You can see on the edges, it's add this nice effect texturing. So right here we have it, our image, okay, before and after. You can see how we in enhance and bring this a little bit more as a um, illustrations. But again, if you um, in like what it was before, you can just work in a view and have an output as well. You can modify and creating a little bit higher contrast. Overall, in these techniques, we look how to create um, shore, a little bit work with textures, some put it rocks, work in the water, and a little bit more define the rocks structure in the back. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek It Play Studio. Please remember this test on the web is www.kickitplay.com.